Hey friends, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Today we're making a super fun, easy, double easel card. Look how cute that is. I just go to the table and we'll get started. Okay, so to make our double easel card, you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This is four and a quarter by 11. You wanna score this in the middle at five and a half and also two and three quarter. Same color cardstock, this piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. Same color again, this one is three and a quarter by three and three quarter. This one is two and a quarter by two and a half. This one is two and a quarter by five, and you want to score this one at one and a quarter and also two and a half. And then this one is two and a quarter by one and a quarter. That's all of our base color. Now you'll need some white cardstock as well. You'll need two pieces of white. They both measure four by five and a quarter. This one is three by three and a half. Then we have two by two and a quarter and two by one. You'll need a piece of pattern paper that measures four by five and a quarter. I will have all these sizes listed on my blog, which will be linked below. As right, so we get started on our card, so this is the card base. You want to make sure you take your bone folder and give each one of those score marks a really good crease. Let's grab our other little piece. So this is our first easel. This is the second one. Again, you want to crease them really well with your bone folder. Okay. So how this is going to work, you're going to have your first easel like that. Then your second easel is going to be right here. I know I should have used a lighter color cardstock so you can see it better, but hopefully you get the idea. All right, what we're gonna do first is take our piece, four and a quarter by five and a half, take this pattern paper and we're gonna adhere that down. Just like that, make sure it's in the middle and straight. That one is done. All right, now I want to do some stamping. So the stamp set I'm using is from Life's Craft. I forget what this is called. It's a really nice stamp set as far as like a fishing kind of scene. Um, there are ships, there's um, lighthouses, all different kinds of images. They also have framelits that go with this, but I'm not using the framelits, I'm just stamping. All right, so we're gonna take our ship piece and my little foam pad. The cardstock color I'm using is Stampin' Up's Night of Navy, so I'm using the same Night of Navy ink. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this ship up. And we're going to stamp it down toward the bottom. Just straight down, straight up. It's a really, really pretty ship and very detailed. I'm going to set that one aside. Let's go ahead and grab our VersaFine black ink. I'm going to use this for the birds. I just thought it needed some kind of interest up here, so I'm going to stamp some birds. So I have one right here, one up there and then I have my other bird going the other way okay so that's the front focal point focal point of our piece then we have that small piece this is for our second or our smaller easel I'm going to use the blue ink again and I'm going to grab the lifesaver and we're going to stamp that on this piece here Okay, set that one aside. Now we have our little greeting area. This is, again, was two by one. I'm gonna use the black ink this time. And the greeting is right over here. And this says, wishing you oceans of happiness. I'm gonna bring it toward me so I can get my head over it to, to get it on there straight. Okay, then one more stamping on the piece of four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna grab the blue ink and my seahorse. Okay, I'm gonna put the seahorse right in the bottom right hand corner. All right, I think on this piece is up, oh, I did. I did more stamping here with my birds. I'm gonna grab my birds again. I did all four corners with the birds. So I'm gonna put one up here, one down here, and they're both going the same way. And then we'll grab the other bird, put one down here and up there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move all the stamping out of our way. We were done with that. Now we can start the fun part, which is assembling the card. All right, so let me clear some space here. So we're gonna take the piece of white that has all the birds on it. We're gonna adhere that on the inside. 
and I'm using my advanced tape glider. It's almost low on adhesive, so when Hubby gets home, he will have to load that with tape for me. All right, so put this on the inside, just like that. Then this piece, because with easel cards, you will see on this one, there's not a whole lot of room to write your greeting, so I just put that piece on, oh, I have stuff all over it, on the back side here. So I'm gonna put this one, flip it over, and put this one right here. I guess I sat that one in some ink. And that's when you go on the back. And I recommend writing your greeting on this piece before you adhere it down. All right, so we have that now. We have this part here. I wanna take some adhesive and put it on here. I'm gonna use my sticky strip. You could use art glitter glue. Just want you want a strong glue here. And while I do like the advanced tape glider, it's not as strong of, a, of, a, uh, of an adhesive that I like. All right, so I'm gonna put this all around here. And then while we're here, I'm gonna do the same thing for our smaller piece. So we have this small score mark right there. Go ahead and put adhesive there as well. I'm gonna go right up to that fold. And then the bottom, I think two pieces there is enough. Take your bone folder and just rub that tape. I find by doing that, it, the backing comes off a little bit easier. I'm gonna work with this one first. I'm gonna take your backing off of this one. Now the person who inspired this card, uh, she does have a video on it, and I will have that link, like I said, on my blog. But she used a lot of uh, like 9 16 3 8 kind of measurements. I wanted to keep it simple, so I did modify the measurements a little bit, just so um, I didn't have to worry about odd score marks. Okay, so that's how that one goes. Okay. Do the same for this piece. Gonna take this backing off. And then I'm gonna take that smaller blue piece. Make sure, cause this is two and a quarter by two and a half, so make sure you have it the right way. And we're gonna just line this up at the bottom of that piece, making sure the sides are all lined up as well. Okay, so now we have our second little easel piece. All right, so work on this one. I'm gonna take I'm going to work on this one first. So I have it sitting like this. I'm going to put my this piece right there. Okay, that's going to go right here, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to flip the whole thing over and put adhesive on the back. Uh, again, I'm going to use a stronger adhesive here. Yeah, so I, all I do is change up the measurements. Again, I will have her blog post linked below. She does have a video on it, so you can see how to put it together, but just keep in mind, my, my measurements are different than hers. You know, it was Pinterest inspired, not copied, right? All right, so I'm going to take the backing off of these ones. And we're almost done. So it's, it's a really fast card to put together. And it definitely has that wow factor. I'm a big fan of easel cards anyway. I just think they're really, really pretty, different. And this one is a double easel card. All right, so now we're gonna open it up so we have our adhesive there. You wanna put this in the bottom, lining it up with your cardstock base, not the white, in the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it there. Lining it up with the bottom. I kind of do one corner, but I'm not in the middle. One corner, just kind of push it down, line the other corner up, and then push the entire thing down. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my bone folder and just crease that piece really, really well. Okay, that helps our easel stay up. I'm gonna flip this over. So now we have the blue piece here. I'm going to pop this up. The key with easel cards is you wanna use foam squares. That's gonna keep that piece standing up. I'm gonna use five on this one. Give them a squish, take the backings off. This will be where our little greeting goes. Okay, and again, I'm gonna line it up right at the bottom here, side to side, and the bottom as well. Okay, take your greeting. We're gonna, 
I tend to put this toward me so I can line up the white left to right with the piece that's it's in front of. Okay, just like that. Okay, that's the first easel. That's how that looks on the card. Okay, then because we have this here, this piece, that creates the second easel. So when I bring this up, you'll see it like that. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna work on this piece here. So on this piece, I wanted to add something of interest here. So what I did is I went to the shed and I got some of Hubby's um, fishing line. And I'm gonna put that behind here. Okay. I'm going to take the backing off of this. And for this part here, you definitely do want to use a dry adhesive. Because we're going to be sticking fishing string to it. All right. I'm going to take that, just, you know, whatever this is. Fishing string, fishing line. If you don't have this, you can certainly use a twine or leave this part out. I just wanted to add some kind of interest. Oops. Now what I'm going to do is take the one end of it, I know you can't see it because it's fishing string, um, and just put it in the adhesive and then just make sure a little bit comes out past that blue. And I just kind of work my way around, just sticking it in the adhesive, making a loop, cut off the extra. And again, I apologize, I know you can't see that, but it is on there. All right, now I'm gonna take some foam squares to pop this up. When I first made the card, I put it right on the pattern paper, and I think because the fishing line is clear, you really couldn't see it, so I, I popped it up. That way it was more, it wasn't so close to the pattern paper. And I'm gonna use nine on this one. All right. So we're gonna go in and give all those pieces a push, take the backings off of all those, and our card is almost done. And I have a card kit. I will show that in one moment. I think I got them all. All right. You want to put this piece more toward the top of our card here. All right, and I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to pop this piece up as well. So this ha this card has a lot of dimension. I'd recommend giving it to a friend versus mailing it because it might be more because of how thick it is. A really really cute little stamp set as well I'll link up below I also have a coupon as well all right so there is that so we're gonna go ahead and push this piece up and then that one so now if you can see this one's not doesn't want to stay down go back in there and crease that score mark really really well okay, I'm gonna even fold it this way just put something on front on the front of it and just crease it again that does help it stay in place So there is that card there, and this card here, and I do have a card kit. Let me go ahead and grab that, it's right here. So here's the card kit. Um, you get everything you need to make the card, as well as the fishing line and an envelope, and I will also include this card with an envelope. So you have a finished card you can mail it to a friend, and then a card you can make yourself. All right, so to win the card kit, leave me a comment below, uh, letting me know what is your favorite activity in the summertime. And I will announce the winner tomorrow. So if you're leaving a comment, want to be entered in the card kit, make sure you watch tomorrow's video um, to see if you want the card kit. All right, so there you have, my friends, a simple double easel card, our Pinterest Inspire project for today. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.